Welcome back everyone. We are in our schoolie enjoying our brand new lights that we put in last week. Um, and this week we might have a little bit of a shorter video for you guys. We spent some time reconnecting with family and that, you know, so we haven't had as much of a chance to work. Um, but today we are really hoping to put in the Max Air Fan covers so the ceiling is completed. And after the Max Air Fan covers, our plan is to start framing out the bed in the back. Um, our thought process is kind of once we put that in, then we can start pulling in electrical and kind of hooking those systems up um, so we can have lights all the time. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> From this angle, it looks good. <laughs> right. We we'll use this two by two to run it on like a track. I think we could get an even cut on all four sides. So we're trying to cut the Max Air Fan cover. The first thing that we started with was the table saw because that seemed like the easiest way, but it was kind of getting a jagged cut. Like it wasn't cutting very neatly into the plastic. It was like hitting it really hard. And um, it also was kind of forming cracks, but luckily the cracks will be fine for us to work around. They're not that big or that disruptive, but I think we're gonna try a new method. So I think the next thing we we'll wanna try is using a jig saw. up with the screws holding the shiplap in. Cool. So from what you could you tell, do you think they're okay? This one's a little close. Oh, okay. But it might be fine. We have both of them in, and it looks really good. It's really polished. It's um nice to have the exposed shiplap covered up, and it looks really neat. I think the solution that they have for having trim is really um, a pretty elegant solution because once we found the right saw, it was really easy to cut down. The table saw kind of melted the plastic as it was going, so it didn't really work, and the hand saw was just a little annoying to work with and the jigsaw was like perfect. All right, now that we have our Max Airfan covers up, the next thing we're gonna do is work on the framing. So we talked about this more in our floor plan video, but we are planning on having a separate compartment in our shower that we can push our composting toilet into so that it's out of the way when we wanna shower and then we can pull it back out whenever we need to use it. and. That compartment will go underneath our bed, so since we're framing the bed out now, we're going to need to make sure that we build kind of a floating wall so that we have space for that compartment later. So 
that's going to complicate things for us a little bit, but I think we'll still be able to get it to work really well and be well supported. We'll just have to keep that in mind and not forget to build that compartment. So one thing we had to remove when we were taking out this back wall was the support that the back door's arm was attached to. It's just been kind of free floating here. So we need to fix that. Um, so we just put in this two by two. We measured it out exactly so that when we open the door all the way, it just barely doesn't touch the ladder we installed on the back. And I think that's great because we had to put the ladder on the right side of the bus because otherwise it would be covering up our license plate. So we had to put it on our right side. So this should hopefully solve that. So I'm super excited to install it. So then if this is the underneath like that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pocket screws here so that when it's pushing down, I feel like that would be more secure than pulling down. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So you probably saw that we've been using the bigger clamp for the Craig jig. That's because it's not broken. We haven't, we haven't broken it, um, but it, um, it's just small enough where we can't fit a two by three in the jig. So we've been having to use the big clamp when we're drilling into the two by threes. I just about gave myself a concussion walking into the bus because since we installed the ladder we haven't wanted to open the back door all the way because we haven't had the arm set up to protect the door from slamming into the ladder. Now that we've set that up we can use that door and um, the threshold for that door is much lower than the side handicap door that we've been using so I stood up too tall on my way in and I slammed my head on the wood piece that we just put in. Thankfully, we at least had the wood piece there because it wasn't as bad as hitting metal, but I'm gonna have to readjust to that. Although soon we're gonna have a bed there, so we won't be walking back and forth anyway, but that was one lesson I learned when we first got the bus that I had unlearned since we haven't been using the back door, and uh, I had to relearn it today. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm just standing in our nightstand. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty big. And it's gonna come up like 12 inches, so we'll have a pretty big uh, back rest nightstand. And uh, for everyone watching this, we're gonna add more support, so don't worry about it. We're just doing framing today. So I know you see us using the pocket screws. We're gonna go back and add more supports for that, but right now we're just framing it out and getting the sizing right. And then we'll come back and make sure everything's secure and can support, you know, weight. <laughs> 
this might be like the last time I'm able to comfortably sit here out of the back door. So I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm going to miss that a little, but I'm really excited to be at this point because I'm, I think it's just going to look so different in here when we have an actual bed built out. So we're going to keep working and try to get that knocked out today. That's a bed. This is a good looking bed. Gosh. I mean, like, we saw the space before we put this here, but honestly, having all the framing in really makes me think, like, this is a really big garage space, and I'm really happy with that. Because, like, we want to be able to keep a lot of, like, you know, our adventure equipment, whatever that is. But, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Just a reminder, this is the framework, so we'll be getting slats later. We're not sure what we'll use for that quite yet, but we're going to be putting slats this way, and I think it should work well. Uh, we're going to be using the same mattress that we're using for our bed right now. I feel pretty confident that it should be able to handle our full-size bed. So I don't know how clear it was before, but basically this is the structure of our bed. Our heads will usually go up here, um, and then starting on the platform at the front, we'll have our nightstand. The nightstand will be as tall as our mattress, and we're planning on having some type of flip-up um, hidden cabinetry there. Um, we'll kind of see as we build it out. But yeah, the heads go up here. We cut off a little corner just to make room for the shower. And then we should be facing the handicap door this way. But I'm really excited. It's a lot bigger. There'll be a lot more storage room than I thought. And I'm really excited about that. Well, that's all we have for you guys in this video. Um, we appreciate you bearing with us. I know this is a shorter video than usual, but we hope you enjoyed watching it. Yep, and we've been really enjoying the comments, so keep them coming. We really enjoy seeing everyone's reactions to the turtles we find in the yard. I get excited when I see a turtle in the yard, so it's fun to share that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.